Good morning. Welcome back to Ministry Monday. I'm thankful for the several who are inquiring about the Spanish and French versions of what the Bible says. Um, and again, for one person who uh, comments and another who shares uh, this video on their Facebook page, uh, I will send a copy of my book, The Science of Shepherding. I ended last week talking about the challenges of application. Remember, hook, look, book, and took. If there's any great weakness that I see in most of our teaching consistently, it is on the took part. We, we feed the sheep, and we, we may feed them well, but too much of it is a bit like abstract art. I don't know if you've ever had this experience in an art gallery, but you, you, you look at something, and obviously the artist had some idea in mind, but, but as a viewer of art, and I'm certainly not knowledgeable about art, I stand in front of it and look at it and, and think, what is it? I may nudge my wife and ask, what is it? What, what do you, what's this all about? And so sometimes I think our preaching and teaching leaves out the equation, what do I do about it? And what difference does it make? Paints on the canvas, but what does it say? And as pastors, shepherds, we assume that the sheep will figure out what to do with what we taught them. But I, 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 that's just not true. That's not the case. And if the pastor does not guide people and challenge people to specific application, the message impact usually ends with the last sentence that is spoken. Um, let me give an example. I challenged our church with a series regarding tithing. And at the end of it, I gave them an opportunity to commit to 90 days of tithing with this promise that if at the end of 90 days you're in worse financial shape than you are when you begin, I will personally, not from church funds, but personally I will return your money plus 10% interest. No loss. I've made that opportunity for years. I've never given a dime back. So I had people sign on, and they did exactly that for 90 days. They were faithful in their tithing. But on the 91st day, it ended. Okay, that's an interesting thing that we have to keep challenging people and bringing them forward. So ruminate over your last 90 days of teaching. How often did you give people specific assignments? I think about my own and actually far too uh, seldom have I given them something to do. If we're not intentional about this, we will be high on information. We will be high on inspiration, but our people will be weak in application. A few years ago, somebody uh, posted a tweet from the Arkansas camp meeting. It was in a response to a message uh, preached by my friend Stan Gleason. The tweet read this way, it's good to hear a message where you know exactly what to do when the fellow gets through preaching. It sounds like that Stan Gleason's sermon that day took. What about my messages? Are they taking? What about your messages? Are they taking? If we're not giving sustained application, then in all likelihood, it's really not taking at all. Think about this week. What will you do this weekend? What will you do this midweek to add an application aspect to what you're going to feed the flock of God?